On October the 1st, we are going to celebrate St. Therese of Lisieux, whose hidden life as a young Carmelite nun inspired many people to conversion. In 1927, Pope Pius XI declared her a patron of the missions, a title shared with St. Francis Xavier, who brought the gospel to many people in Asia. Now, we ask, could a cloistered nun become a missionary? Yes. St. Therese shows us that mission has a contemplative face. She tells us, She entered Carmel at the age of 15 and took the religious name of Sister Therese of the Child Jesus and the Holy Face. She died of tuberculosis at the age of 24. Her life as a contemplative missionary is brief, but what is truly inspiring is her understanding of her vocation. To suffer with Jesus crucified for the conversion of sinners and the formation and salvation of priests. Not only did she do it every day, determined that no soul should be damned today, but she also introduced it to other sisters, inviting them. would say now that contemplative nuns cannot be missionaries. This is the little way for which St. Therese is known today. She may not be physically available to go to different mission areas because of her state of life and also of her health, but in her littleness, in her humility, in her suffering, in her silence, she is saving many souls as apostolic missionaries do. These and more of her reflections and counsels are in her autobiography, Story of a Soul, where Pope John Paul II saw in her an expert in the Scientia Amoris, declaring her a doctor of the church in 1997. St. Therese said she will work twice as hard after her earthly life. So we ask her to pray for us sinners and for all priests. <laughs>